So today you decided to drive four hours round trip to to, to, to visit her and to, to visit her and tell her we're not going to do anything stupid. I, I said stupid things in there that mm -hmm. shouldn't have said and you said some illegal things. I mean, stupid is a bit of an understatement. I know. I, I should have known. But I said figure. stupid things like this. Before I ask you some questions, I just got to read you your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent, and you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before, during, and after any questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to. This here is 55-year-old Brian, and on one night he came on over to our stink house to meet up with our adult decoy. Now little did he know that shortly after his two and a half hour drive one way, he would be greeted by Michael Myers and myself. Touch it. <laughs> How's it going, Brian? Fine, and you? Good. I'm just a friend here. You're just a friend? Yeah. And not too long after that, he'd be greeted by the Kent County Police Department. Now, Brian wasn't expecting any of this after his long, long commute. And if you ask me, it's hard to believe that he drove all this way just to tell the girl that he couldn't do any of the things with her that he talked about in the chat log. Is Brian really as harmless and innocent as he says he is? Or were his intentions rather malicious? Find out on this episode of To Skeet a Predator. I'm your host, Skeet Hansen. Now, we had to cut a lot out of this video and do a ton of censoring just to make it fit YouTube's guidelines. So if you'd like to see the uncut, uncensored version of this video, be sure to head over to skeetergene.locals.com where you can find this video uncensored and more. Just pulling up. I think that's him. I think that's Larry. Hey, Larry. Hey, Doyle. How's it going? Good, how about Hi, Doyle, Prestige Worldwide Real Estate Marketing. Yeah, so I'm the uh, the um, Director of Operations for the mm -hmm. company. This is uh, my colleague, Sebastian. He does our social Thanks, media marketing. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, the other thing we were concerned about, though, was the um, the plumbing. It's the uh, the predator piping. We heard that was really uh -huh. good, uh, too. I don't know okay. how good you are at laying pipe. But we're oh, gonna need... we do, yeah, we do piping. Okay, so you are gonna, you're, you're, you're the pipe layer, basically, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. and if you wanna take a look down there, cause there was like a leak, like all the way, like down there in the, the uh, white tube there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, like more where, to the right. Where did that come from? What's that? Where did that picture come from? Let's see, what is this? I don't know, that wasn't there before. One there before? No. This picture? Yeah. Wait, is that, is that you? Looks like me. With YouTube taking down and demonetizing videos like this left and right, becoming a supporter really goes a long way in helping us keep going and keep catching these terrible, terrible individuals. Now that I've got all my e-begging out of the way, I hope you enjoy this interaction with Brian. What up boys, it's your boy Skeet Hansen back at it again. This time we're at our boy Oma's house and we're in his apartment. He was gracious enough to let us use his place to have a predator come over for a good well, time. Predator's over. Who doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. you it's know? another weekend. Yeah, for sure. It was another day at the office. Yeah, and if you get bored, if you're ever lonely, you can just like invite him over again. Hey man, the guy's not here this time, it's just me. But yeah, this guy here, his name is, um, this is Brian. Now, I'm not sure how old he is, but he's definitely old enough. You see, he has this sort of salt and pepper beard going, a very prominent amber alert mustache. You can tell he was very confident when he took this picture. And he is getting ready to meet with who he thinks is an believable as a girl. You know, we're getting ready to have this guy come over. We're still waiting on the decoy. And our boy Q here, who's holding the camera, is gonna be dressed as Michael Myers. So we have a special spooky Halloween treat for you all when Brian arrives. So he's coming uh, from Saginaw. He's about two and a half hours away. He should be here in the next. That's one way, right? Two and a half hours. That's one way, yep. So five hour round trip. Five hour round trip to meet him. It's crazy. But he said he's here. That's what he just said. Well, that's kind of funny. Hello. Hey, do, do you mean he's here right now, like at the apartment? Yep, he's already there. Oh, f called, he called me on the way here. Damn. Um, like, okay, 
Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. So good to see you. Yeah? Yeah, you want to come sit down? I was going to make us some snacks. <laughs> Do you want a Mountain Dew? I can't remember what your favorite pop was. Uh, Pepsi. Oh, that's okay. I got a key in a truck. Okay. So, how's your day? Fine, and you? Oops, I forgot my sanding. Okay. Good. Oh, are you excited for Halloween? Yeah, but you know, I, I don't do much Halloween no more. How come? I work too much. Yeah, but what if you can pass it off of work? Well, I can try, but let's see what happens. Would you like dress up with a Halloween costume? We could both be cats. Yeah, we could just get you kitty ears and a kitty tail. I love Halloween stuff. Um, have you talked to Summer lately? No, I've been. She's been texting me, but I've been at work working so so much. I don't have time to. I text her when I get home from work, and she texts me the next day when I'm in work. Oh no, you text me more than Summer now. I try to text both of you. <laughs> you have crushes on two girls. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. But yeah, that's probably makes it hard when there's two girls, huh? Yeah. Have you ever had two girlfriends before? No, I haven't. Since <laughs> I'm old and ugly. <laughs> that's not true. We like you. Do you like our, oh, my aunt's Michael Myers? And like, uh, I don't know where the remote control is, but it like... It moves. It moves. And you go, go like walk, like wave your hand in front of it or like touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Isn't that so scary? Oh my God. <laughs> A little bit scary, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we like spooky season here. <laughs> Looks like a human. I know. Now, when Michael reached out and touched Brian on the shoulder, I thought for sure he was gonna freak out and we were gonna come out with the cameras and just expose him right then and there. But um, Brian seemed to thoroughly believe that Michael Myers was really an animatronic statue, you know, a mere Halloween decoration and not our cameraman in disguise, which is you know what it really was. Um, I, I guess some IQs just are not up to par, you know, Brian is just not a high IQ individual, unfortunately. She said she told me not to break it, that it was like $500. Isn't that crazy? Summer, is Tina really going to be seriously so scared of him, she won't even come over here. Well, you got to put a blanket over her. You want me to put a blanket over no, here? No, I'm fine with it. Oh, you like that? When she comes over, you need Oh, when Summer comes over, that's a good idea. I never thought about that one. Do you like my Halloween shirt? Oh, want to put me in my in your contacts? Yeah, man. I can take a selfie. How's it going, Brian? Fine, and you? Good. I'm just a friend here. You're just a friend? Yeah. What kind of friend? Just a good friend. A good friend? I'm not going to do anything wrong or nothing like that. What were you planning on doing with this friend? Just talking friend? to her, talking, and that's it. And who is, who is she? Taylor. That's all I know. She's Taylor. good friends. You don't know anything else about Taylor? No. You sure? Yeah, we talked to each other. That's about it, but I'm, that's about it. I'm not You talked to her, and what did you, what kind of things did you talk about? Just holding, kiss, uh, hugging stuff, and that's it. Hugging stuff, yeah, I see you mentioned that, and how old is Taylor? I think, but you know, just good friends, that's it. You want to try again? That's what she told me. She told you she was Well, looks... Just, just good friends, that's it. Okay, it looks like here she told you that she was earlier this year. Oh, I thought she was... She, I thought she was... Would that make it better? No. I'm not going, I'm not so, here to do anything wrong or nothing. Just 
Okay. Just to visit her and stuff and... Okay. To visit her and... Just talk to her, that's just, all. Just talk to her, hang out, watch a scary movie or something. Yeah, but nothing else. That's it. You call her Angel quite a bit. Yeah, she's she's a beautiful girl. Sure. Angel, yeah, so... Sure. And you're a bit of a devil with some of the things you were talking about in this chat log. And yeah, but... We're no, a long way from Devil's Night, Brian. I would never do anything like that. But you talked about it. You send a lot of heart emojis. You talk about hugging and kissing. Kissing on the cheeks, but nothing else. No, Nowhere I'm not, else? I'm not a bad person here. Well, I didn't say you were, Brian, but it seems like you were trying to do some very bad things within this chat log. I'm not. Yeah. I said, I, what I said is I'm not going to do it to her. No. So what did you say that you're not going to do to her? I'm not going to do love with her or nothing like that. I would never do that to her. Okay. Her. Okay. I have to make sure that. But why'd you, why'd you talk about it then? I don't know. It's just something in my mind that came up to it, but then I thought about it. I'm not doing it, so. So it, just, it was just something that you sort of thunk up and you decided to come here and meet her. Yeah, to just, just talk to her and say I'm not doing it, so. Okay. And where are you from, Brian? Uh, Bay City. Bay City. That's about how far from here? I think two hours drive, I think. Two hours, two and a half? Two, not two hours, but so I would never drove. do anything like that. Never. So today you decided to drive four hours round trip to... To, to, to visit her. And to just visit her. And tell her we're not going to do anything stupid. And not do anything. Nope. Because I'm, I sure. thought about it and I said, nope. Mm -hmm. I would never do that. You talk about how short she is, and you say that I can lower my hands to hug you. Yeah, because I'm tall and she's yeah. short, and I just want to hug her. That's yeah, all. Yeah, you're you're a bit of a bit of a tall guy. I see. You say want me to put my hands on your side or your butt? Oh, to side pick her or up. butt? To pick her up. That's all I'm saying. So you want to, you wanted to touch her butt though, is what you said. No, well, I want to pick her up and pick her up that way. No, it's still but, touching her butt, and you know it's a. Girl here. Yeah, but I'm not going to do anything. Just pick her up, just hold her buttocks, firmly grasp it, and pick her up. Yeah, to hug her, that, she's a, just a hugger, but I'm not, sure. I'm not going to do anything stupid to the By stupid? What, what, now, what, what would be stupid? I would say, do you think? I, I said stupid things in there that mm -hmm. shouldn't have said, and. You said some illegal things. I mean, stupid is a bit of an understatement. Well, Brian. to me, it was stupid, yes. Not Some might call it stupid. That, I would never do anything. It's also illegal. Yes, I know. And I talked about it on the way here. Says I'm not going to do all that, and I'm not. But you still came. To tell her that I'm not doing it. You came to tell her that you weren't going to do it. Yes. Brian, you could have told her that on the phone. How I many? Know, how many phone calls did you have with her? More than once. On any of those occasions, it didn't occur to you. Hey, maybe I should tell her that. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. Yeah, it just come up and tell her that. You had to tell her in person? Yes. Why? Yes, I feel sad about it. I feel bad about it. I feel I shouldn't be saying that to, to you like that, and I know I shouldn't have. So why do it, Brian? Why not I just block the number and move on? If because you know I don't you... just tell her in person we're not doing it. And it had to be in person. Right, and I told her I would black, I would stop talking to her and stuff, and I just want to tell the truth. I'm not going to do that to her. Now, Brian, you understand why that's a little hard for me to believe. Please believe me. All right, I am telling the truth. I would never do. I got I would never do that to any girl. But you not that age. You drove a whole two hours to get here. To, to tell to, to, to tell, tell her that I'm not going to do anything. That you're not going to do it. Right. That's very hard for me to believe. Well, believe me, I'm telling the truth. Do you see why it's hard for me to believe, though, Brian? Yes, I understand. I, uh, if you weren't here, it wouldn't be so hard for me to believe. But I'm here you to are. To tell the truth. To tell the truth. Okay. You talk about how much you miss her, and you send her heart emojis. Yes, because I do miss talking to her, and that was that was it. Sure. And at some point, you do send a shark heart eye emoji. You see, with uh, with a shark right there. Yeah, and that's so how much I love her. But well, that's very fitting because you know, as you I'm know, the, a shark is a predator of the sea, of the ocean, generally speaking. Okay, I didn't know that. It's just, you didn't know that a shark preys upon you know the smaller fish. I it, knew it's that. Generally, a predator in the ocean. Correct. 
but I would never do anything to and, hurt anybody. But what you're talking about, and with you being here, it's rather predatory. Okay. Going back to the to the I shark emoji. For that, but okay. that's why I'm short to tell that I'm not here to do anything, and I'm not. Sure. It's just a bit ironic that you sent such an emoji, don't you think? You talk about how you dream about her. Yeah, I do dream about her. You want me to dream about something else, you ask her? I can dream about making love to you. What do you mean by that? By kissing and stuff and everything, just kissing her, in, but I decide not to do it when I come up here. That's why I come up in tower. So to you, making love is just kissing her? Yes, but and I'm not going to do her. anything to her. But I'm don't not. you think, how old are you, Brian? 55. 55. Don't you think it's a little odd for a 55-year-old man to be kissing an girl? Kissing her forehead and stuff, yes. It is. Don't you think it's a little uh, odd? Yes. So that's your definition of making love, but you know, if you ask Keith Sweat, it would be a different meaning. And if you ask the vast majority of people, making love means something totally different than what you just said. I understand that, but I'm not going to do anything. That's why I come up and tell her, says I'm not going to do anything. Well, how do you think it looks to me? Looks bad. Why does it but look bad? I'm telling the truth. I would never do anything. Okay. But why, why do you think it looks bad, Brian? It's, to me, it's bad. It's, okay. What's bad about it? Thinking about it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because the 55 should be thinking about that. Or coming to me. Coming to me. Right. And I just want to come and tell her, says, I'm not going to do anything. I just don't understand why you couldn't have told her, you know, on the phone, Brian. Because I was driving here and I didn't like okay. talking to her on the phone I'm on the way here. Okay, but you were talking to her on the way here, and you could have told her then. You, you could have told her then when you were on the way. Yeah, you ask was, what there size? Was no, there was no traffic, nothing like that on the way here. But when I okay. got here, I should have said, I'm not coming in. You should have, but here you are anyway. Do you remember asking her, did you ask her about what size her bra is or anything like that? Yeah, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have asked her that. Why'd you ask her, Brian? Because I was being an, an idiot. Being an idiot. A big idiot. That about sums it up. Do you remember anything else you said pertaining to that? No. You asked her how big her top is. You asked if they were big enough for you. Yeah. That was what, what would big enough for you be? I'm not. Well, yes. an idiot. That well, was a you, stupid question. Well, Brian, yes for a size. Yes for I size. Know, so. I know I didn't. I shouldn't have. There must be a minimum size that you had in mind. No, I don't. That was a big mistake. Huge. Huge mistake. And I can't. I mean, what business I'm, is that of anyone's knowing what size bra wears? It doesn't. It sure isn't a 55-year-old man's business. No. Right. At some point you were talking about your mom. You say that she's 80 and you send a picture of her. What would she think of this? You idiot. Not, really not a smart move, Brian. No. Do you live with her? Yes, I do. And I got a full-time job. I can't lose this right now. Okay. But you made the choice to come in here. Just tell her that I was And have the kind of, Oh, I understand. But either way, you see how it looks. I just want to tell her that I'm not going to do anything, and that's it. And at some point, didn't you say that you loved her? I love to see her, yes. But that's about it. Okay. You asked what's under her bra. That was a stupid thing to do. I know. So I it all know. just goes back to you being stupid. Yes, I was okay. stupid. How often do you say stupid things, Brian? When I, when I don't think right. Is it when you're horny? Most of, no, it's just when I'm lonely. When you're lonely. But uh, this ain't, this ain't right. Does, I you asked for that right. at 12, 23 in the afternoon. I know, I know. It's a, it's a bit early for such dirty talk. I shouldn't have done it, I know. Do you remember anything else you asked her? No. And okay. I just don't want to okay. do anything stupid and that's it. You, you, well, you say you're a little... I know, I shouldn't have said that either. You shouldn't have, Brian, and you see how it looks. 
I'm not going to do that. I came up here and I says, I changed my mind and says, I'm not going to do anything. And that's why I'm going to just tell her. Okay. Now, Brian, I got to say, you know, it's the Halloween season is right around the corner. And this is some real scary shit that you're doing. Yeah, I know. I mean, do you have any of your own? Got a daughter. That's up? Yeah. Now, back when your daughter was years old, how would you feel if a 55-year-old man was coming to meet up with her home alone? I'd beat him up. You'd beat him up? Why? Because that's my daughter, and that's how I feel, and then this, what I said on here, shouldn't have been said. Well, you know this is someone else's daughter, potentially, yeah, I know, too. I know. So what makes it okay for you to do it? I shouldn't have done it. Well, what makes it okay? What, how do you justify it? It wasn't okay with me. Well, I mean, if this had been a girl here, and not us here. I would just turn around and go back home. Okay, but what if her dad found out? What if her dad came out and you were here? He beat me up. Bit of an understatement. Yeah. So you, you see why you just shouldn't do it in general, Brian? It's, yeah. Wouldn't you agree that it's just not a wise choice it's overall? Not, it's not. I'm going to delete everything I'm here and stuff. And okay. You see her here, and I love you so much. Yeah, because I was lonely and stupid. Then you say you want to kiss her all over her body. And I shouldn't have said that. That's true. I shouldn't have said that. See, uh, this is a real issue here, Brian. I mean, what do you think should happen to you? Says, so, I learned my lesson. I would never do it again. What's the lesson to be had here? Oh, Chad, do, uh, do we still have that pizza coming? Right, yeah. Do you agree with sir? Thank you. Well, put the card there. Well, I would never do it again, I promise. I would take everything out of, up, out of here and delete it and stuff. And mm hmm And is there anyone else that you're talking to? No, I'm a delete or two. Who? Uh, so there is some, another that you're talking to. It's a, it's a yes or no question, Brian. No, um, I'm sorry, no. Just a good, uh, a good friend of mine. A good friend of yours. And I'm just going to tell her this. Well, how, how old are they? She's You were talking to another You just said you weren't. Well, it's a friend of mine sister so i'm not going to talk, talk talk to her either no more a friend of yours sister a friend of mine that lives in he works with me and that's his sister so we've been talking so does he know that you've been talking to his sister yeah i'm gonna tell him i'm gonna stop talking to her and he was okay with you talking to his sister which is friends oh just his friends yeah okay so what, 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 what kinds of things going, were you huh? talking what kinds of things were you talking about with her Talking about her brother and stuff. See how he's doing. Okay, just he's, so just normal yeah, chit chat. Yeah, I better see him. So. Okay. You sure um, there's no other girls that you're communicating no. with? None. No. Oh, Summer. I Is better talk to her now. Summer. I was Bill. expecting Who's Summer? you to say Summer. You just brought up a whole nother girl, Brad. No, it's the same girl, but it's. Summer's not seen, and you don't know Summer in real life. You're talking about somebody you know in real life. Do you have hoes in different area codes, Brian? Who's uh, who's this summer person? She's a good friend of mine. We talk, but that's about it. How old is she? I don't know what. I think. But think? we just talk. But you just talk. Just yeah. Do you talk to her like you talk to this girl? No. I don't know, Brian. Something but about I'm not. your statement tells me that you you may be telling a bit of a fib. I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I would never do anything. I just want to come here and tell her that we're not, I'm not going to do anything that's it. Okay. And I promise I'm not going to do anything like that. Well, I get you, Brian, but I'm more concerned about this, you know, this summer person now. I who you said is Where'd you meet her? How'd you come across her? We met on on, on, on an app, I don't remember, but we're just talking about I have I've been working so hard, I've better talk to anybody right now. You've been working hard on the, the 
you were talking to? No, I've been working hard at work. So how long have you been, been in contact with Summer, though? For a few months, but after that, I've been busy at work, so I don't have okay. time to talk to nobody. So you just haven't, haven't talked to her in a while? No. Okay. But that's, I'm going to delete her and everything else, too. Now you're going to delete her? Yeah. Because, because this happened? No, I just... I just want to delete everything that's on the phone and everything. Just so. now, out of the blue, you just you feel like you want to. I, I think this has something to do with that that no, feeling. No, it's not. It's because well, up until today, you were it seemed like you were willing to communicate with Summer and uh, you know this this <laughs> what you were talking to. Just just try and find good friends to talk to. That's all. You can't find any adult friends. I try. Yeah, I can try it. Just have you tried? Been working so many hours now. I didn't have time, but I can okay. change that. And but you had time to talk. Yeah, well, I got time. You know, okay. I got break. Yeah, but other than that, it's it's hard to believe, Brian. It's hard to believe. It is. It was stupid for me for saying that stuff, and I was just like I said, lonely and stupid. Oh, you doing okay? I know you're diabetic. You want to pop there? No, I'm just... You want some? Sure, I'll take some. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Or a water, really. We're looking out for you. If you need no, something, just I just something. want to forget all about this, and we'd never mm -hmm. do this again. Well, Brian, I mean, where do we go from here? What do you think should happen to you? Well, you guys put me in, in my pants, right? We'd never you, do this you again. You beat your pants? Like, literally? No. Oh. You just... Scared the hell out of me. I would never do We did, or was it Michael Myers? Oh, I felt the same. It felt real to me. So. It felt felt weird to you? No, real. Oh, it felt real. I would never do this again. That's one thing I would never do. How can you ask the girls to tell you that they love you if you were going to come here to tell them that you can't do this? You're trying to. No, I'm. I would. I would change my mind coming here. No, but you I didn't change your mind. Try to pay attention to the. the no, I now. said I, I was on tell her I was not going to do anything wrong. How come you ask them to say I love you? You say, please, why don't you tell me you love me back? How come you, how come you try to get the girls to to tell you that they love you? What what does why do you do that? I'm just curious, please. That's a good question. Well, I mean, as a friend, and that's what well, I should have meant. Why do you ask? Why do you, you, you would just want them to tell you that they love you as a friend? Yes, but nothing else. Why do, does that make you feel good or something? Well, I'm just trying to find friends, and this is the long way doing it. That's okay. true. It seems yeah. kind of mean to get these girls to try to fall in love with you, and then I'm not your whole that. plan was to drive two hours to break up with her after you just tried to get her to tell you that she loved you? That's a little silly. No, I just didn't. I wanted to be friends with you, and that was it. Nothing else. Um, there was a high priority pizza delivery, so I'm not sure on the time frame. Okay. Should be here any minute. Are you hungry, Brian? We're gonna throw having pizza pretty soon. No. I'm all right. Could have a pizza party, because I'm sure you're, you know, that driving really probably made you hungry. No. Okay. I just don't know, Brian. Where do, where, where do we go from here? Just let me go home and I drop everything and block everybody that I know. Have you called okay. your daughter? She might she might want to know. No, oh, she's in Chicago. Perfect. Well, that's fine. Don't worry about her dad. So she's. What? It's only 8:30. She's probably still still up. Is she? She's at a friend's house. That's fine. But please. Uh, maybe you should. No, no. I don't want to get her, get her involved here. Well, she won't be involved. I mean, I just think it's good that she she knows what, you know, her dad's out here doing, what daddy's been up to. Oh, Brian, I mean, what's going to happen when she finds out? Wouldn't you, rather, wouldn't you rather explain no. it to her? No, I hope she doesn't find out. Well, it's not a matter of her age, she'll find it before your mom, her being yeah. 19 and your mom being 80. Yeah. I think it's safe to say she will find out, Brian. I mean, if you didn't want her to find out, then why, why'd you do it? I just wanted to talk to somebody, I guess. It was a stupid mistake. Nothing like this will happen again. 
Okay, Brian. Is there, is there anything else you do you have to say for yourself? Sorry that I did this. Who are you sorry to? Taylor and and someone and stuff. So I'm not going to do anything. What about all the members of your family at your family reunion? I mean, you let a lot of people down here, Brian. Sorry about that, too. Well, Brian, if that's all that you have to say, then what I have to let you know is that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with some. I wasn't trying to meet her up that way. Well, you, you still met her. I want to apologize to her. Well, either way, Brian, you talked like this and you met up with her. And I do have to let you know you've just been skeeted in 4K. Apologize for it. I never have again. And, Brian, did you bother to, I don't know, you know, freshen up before you came to meet her or anything? Because I'm just... You know, you're getting a, just a whiff of the breath, it smells like. Did you, you smoke cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You, you didn't brush your teeth before you came, or? Yeah, I was driving here when I smoked the cigarettes. Oh, and you were, okay. Got but you. I don't drink and do Okay. I was just wondering. Do there's all the stuff I don't do. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, just was curious about that. I had a gut feeling, and... I just want to tell her what I said. I should never, never should have done that, and I never should have said all that. Right. And also, mainly, you shouldn't have came to meet up with her because now it looks like you were going to follow through on the things you said. I wasn't. Well, I know, but you you know how you see how it looks on the outside. Yeah. But I mean, you you do understand how just you know you traveling to come here just makes it further look like yeah you, know, you might have done yeah. So. I, I would never, I would just, you know, I'm telling her, so I'd never tell her straight out. I would talk to her face to face and would never do that. Gotcha. Okay. And that's a promise. Is that the uh, Brian guarantee? Yep, that, that's my guarantee. Okay. Uh, hey. Brian, I have a Wayne on the phone here. Would you like to tell him what's going on? Or are we going to tell him what's going on? Who? Who's on the phone? I think believe this is your uncle. Is what's up there? Wayne, can I ask how you know Brian? Huh? Can I ask how you know Brian? He's my stepbrother. Your stepbrother? No, don't. Well, your stepbrother is he? Brian. No. Right now, Brian, trying to the police, police are on their way. way. You don't. I don't uh, need this. You got please, the police I on said the way. I don't do it again. And well, you know, Brian, you did it already. I just sort of told him not going to do it. And Brian, it's just hard to you know, believe. Please I think. Believe me, I won't do it again. Brian, could you just take a seat for me, please? No, I'm. No, please. Now it was clear that Brian knew that he f***ed up, and it really wouldn't be a good thing if this information got out there. He didn't want anyone to know this information, especially not his daughter, and especially not his brother-in-law, who we called up on the phone. Now, due to Brian not covering up his information online, we were able to find out who his family members were and give them a call and let them know what was going on. And while we're on the topic, let me go ahead and share a few words about today's video sponsor, Delete Me. What up? It's your boy Sellout Skeet here, and I'm here to talk to you about Delete Me. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Delete Me is an online service that specializes in helping you keep your information off of the internet. Do you know what data brokers are? They're basically people who collect data from different sources online and then sell it to other people for various purposes. And believe me, you don't want your personal information being marketed. Just imagine you're surfing the World Wide Web. Then all of a sudden you get a suspicious email and not paying attention, you happen to click a link attached to the email. This could potentially open you up to some sort of scam and you just don't want to be dealing with that. Delete Me can also help protect you against identity theft and phishing scams. These are huge financial risks, so that's why I personally use and recommend Delete Me. 
It's really easy to get started. You just plug in your information on their website and then you're on your path to getting deleted and protecting yourself. You don't want to get caught up in any scams, so be sure to head over to joindeleteme.com slash gene, where you can save up to 20% on their services. Thanks for listening. Now I'm going to hand you back over to Skeet Hansen. Right. can you just please take a seat? We're just... Right. I, I just think it's, you know, best that we... I don't need to be arrested. Well, well that's not to anyone us to decide. It's not to us to decide, Brian. I know that, but please, I don't need this. I don't think you need it to meet an girl. No, Brian, let's let's just calm it down and just... Brian. Please don't. Okay. Well, do you want to explain yourself? Brian, can you? We should really just wait because. No. We'll, we'll, do you want me to tell him or do you want to tell him? Because you don't. I don't think you want to get, you know, pulled over when you're driving. So. I don't need this. Well, I understand, Brian. Yeah. Do you want to make a phone call? Please. Uh, Brian, do you want to tell him what's going on, or do you want me to? Don't, don't. Stop it. Oh, Brian, could, could you just? Stop it. Brian, could you just take a seat? No, we just want to. Okay, we'll come, we'll tone it down a bit. Brian, if if you could please just. No, I'm, please, I don't need this. Okay, Brian, but. Please. I understand, Brian. I don't need to be arrested. I've got no money to bail out. Well, Brian, I'm sure someone does in your family. I don't want to ask nobody. I understand that, Brian, but you ultimately made the decision to to come here. You have to tell us it's not right. Okay, I, I, please, I see that. Please, Brian, I don't Brian, could, could, could you please just have a seat for me? No, I'm getting nervous here. Okay, I understand. We don't mean to make you nervous, but... I don't need to be arrested either. Okay, and that's ultimately not even going to be up to us to decide. You guys got to help me out here, please. We'll see what I'm we can do. If, you, if you'll be so kind as to have a seat, yeah, we, we can, can see what we can do. We can have a word with them when they get here. I made a stupid mistake to come out here. You did. That you did. No, but Brian, you're starting to make me nervous now. Would you mind having a just having no, a seat I'm like nervous a nervous now? So. Okay. 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 Calm down. It's just. No, it's, it's not. It's gonna be fine. I did a stupid thing. I knew I should not. I understood. Understood, Brian. I just but want to come out and tell you him understand him. you. Did a stupid thing, and there are consequences for some stupid I know, actions. I know. I don't need to be arrested here, please. Then where would you like to be arrested, if not here? I'd like to go back home and forget everything to the well, Brian, thing. no one said anything about getting arrested. Yeah, it's not going to be up to us to decide. It's up to the cops. Well, correct. I don't need to be arrested. I don't need to lose my job. Brian, why didn't you think of that before you, you did it? You said the things and you... I said stupid things. That's all I said. I understand. Said. Brian, but, Brian, you, you got to understand. Do you want to have a seat on the couch? It's a little more comfy. No. Okay. I need a cigarette. Okay. Well, well, Brian, I think it's just... Well, there's no smoking in, in the building. Uh, no, I know. we got my cigarettes in a truck. Okay. And don't need nobody else to find out, so please don't call my brother-in-law. If... Okay. Okay, Brian, we, we won't call anyone. That's fine. I'm not trying to be mean to you, okay? I know well, we. I understand. I get. It. We we don't want to be mean to you either. You know, it's just. You guys fit me out now, as is. Okay. And. I would promise you guys I would never do this again. Okay. But we just have to make sure of it, Brian. So I think it's you know you best we my, just. You got. You got my word, my word for it. What's your word good for, Brian? I'm telling you I'm not going to do this again. I promise you. That's my promise. I would that's never do Brian, this again. That's the Brian guarantee. That's my guarantee. Okay. I'm a truthful man here. Right? Hasn't he lied like most of the night tonight? I mean, you lied about the, the you talking to a Yeah, I was just nervous like everybody else is. Is your word your bond? Is that the saying? My word is my bond? Yeah. Is, is your word your bond? Me bond. That's just a saying. You know, my word is my bond. I would promise you I okay. would never do that again. Can your brother-in-law verify that? Yes, he will. 
maybe we could just call him and ask him if your word is really as good as you say it is. I'm telling the truth. Okay. My heart's pounding right now, and it is telling the truth. You, you can take a seat, Brian. Do you want a glass of water or anything? I think that'd be great to have a glass of water and sit down for a minute. No, I'm just... Blood sugar doing okay? Yeah, the last thing you want right now is a cigarette. Yeah. That's, that's not going to help you. That'll help me calm down a little bit. Well, maybe you should just have a glass of water and take a seat. No, I'm just nervous, that's all. Okay. No, we would never do anything like that. Hello. How are we doing, gentlemen? Doing well. Good. Officer Bosman with the County Police. Ah, Skeet Hansen, Predatory okay. Investigation Unit. Oh. You know. hmm? What's going on? There's a lot of people over here right now. Uh, yeah. So, um... I did this... something stupid and I never should have done. Okay. That's what he calls it. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, this is Brian. For me. Uh, okay. He was chatting up online who we believe to be an uh, female for some time how many about how many months mighty was uh june 8th since june 8th and another one for months before that um he said some you know questionable things in this chat log talks about feeling her up and you know kissing her he talks about making love with her all sorts of things within this you know this chat log here and now he's here tonight to um meet who he believes is in i'm saying i was gonna say nothing's gonna happen do you want to hang out and chat with him? Mm -hmm. Can we talk? Just over sure. Work? Sure, well, wherever you want. Uh, over here? Oh, uh, stupid thing I said. Is it, whose apartment is this? Oh, th this is uh, yeah. his apartment. Oh, okay. Stupid thing. It's not like the room. It's just more time. So, oh, okay. I was, if you want to. Tell me your story. Is there a light in there? Uh, um, let's just go in here. And I think I'll just come over and tell her that nothing's going to happen. And my mistake that I came here, I would, I would never do anything. Files, are you good? Yeah. All right, we'll head out. Okay. There's a there's a fight at the mall. Okay. I'll be back. All right, sounds good. Thank you. So what's your name, sir? Uh, Brian. Brian. Uh -oh. Would you like to speak in here about it? Would you like to speak somewhere else? Just want to hear from your perspective what's going on here? I apologize for what I did. I didn't mean to say all that stuff. And I come home and told her I was sorry that I said it, and nothing's going to happen. Okay. Um, I was just being stupid. Okay. Do you want to talk about that in here, or do you want to talk about it outside? Mm -hmm. Like what, what the things that you said and... What you're planning to do when you come came here? Nothing. I came here. I thought I was going to tell her we're not going to do nothing. Okay. But you had to come here to tell her that. Yes, because I, I felt right about it. Over the phone, it's not right. It's, talking in person is, is for me. It's better this way. Okay. And what did you tell her when you got here? I was going to tell her nothing. We, nothing's going to go happen. Um, then we, I was going to just tell him I go back home. Okay. All right. You guys could hang out with him while I call my sergeant. Yeah, yeah whatever you need us to do. Absolutely. Take your time, sir. Oh, please. I don't need all this right now. You told his brother or his stepbrother? Yeah, he knows. Why? I mean, well, I asked sergeant. him not to do it. And Brian, they're going to find out anyway. We're so I'm forgetful. We need somebody to help hold you accountable and check in on you. Do the idea on it. What's a good phone number for you? Right. So I've got my sergeant coming. Okay. We're going to work through it when he gets here. I promise these guys I'm not going to do anything like this again. That's mm -hmm. crossing my heart and stuff. and. Just gotta make sure, Brian. Is that that's talks? fine. That's fine. I understand oh, that. Works. If I promise not to do it again, that mm -hmm. works. No, exactly. Pretty sure it's how that works. Yes, it does. For me, it does. Just so you know, I gotta read you some reds first before I ask you some questions. Okay? Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Oh, I can't. I can't be arrested. 
You're not being arrested right now. I'm just, before I ask you some questions, I just got to read you your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent, and then you say canon will be used against you in the court of law. Uh, you have the right to the presence of an attorney before, during, and after any questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you. You understand those rights? Yes. Okay. You want to speak to me about what's going on here, how we got here? I said stupid things. I didn't I wanted to talk to somebody to. I just said stupid things. Yeah. Never. I would never do that again. Who was it that you were speaking to over text message and over the phone? Totter. Totter. Well, how do you spell that? It's Totter. I don't know how to say her name. No. Okay. And what? Uh, who reached out to who? Who was the first one to? Both guess, of us was reaching each other out. Okay. Okay. But I just want to come over and tell them nothing's going to happen. Okay. I would never do anything like that. Gotcha. Okay. And that's a promise. Okay. From my heart. The Brian guarantee. So, um, I'm waiting for a chat with him for a while. Is he, is he coming? Uh, he's going to call me back. Okay. I call him on the way back here. No, Brian, being that you drove so long to get here, it's just a little hard to believe that oh, please, please. you came to just tell her that you can't do it. It's That's the way I am. I'm a, okay, okay, I mean, you can say that, but it's, it's just really hard to believe, Brian. I understand that. I'm telling the truth. Because you could have told her on the phone. Yes. And I not mean, showed up. Yes, I do understand that. I do appreciate where you guys did. You guys took me along a lot. Did it, I'm glad we could do that. Second one you mentioned. Can we shake hands? Uh, no, no, Brian, we just can't sp spread any predatorialness, you know, even with germ contact or there's tons of ways it can get out there, you know. Oh, yeah, you didn't wash your hands after the bathroom either, so there's that too. Maybe if you washed your hands, but wait, I didn't hear any water going, so. Oh, are you going to wash your hands now? No, Brian, you got to do a longer wash than that. That was like two seconds worth of water. I would say a good 20 seconds, you know. Um, you know, the CDC recommends that per COVID, so. Yeah, that, that's a good solid wash there. You did use soap, right? Okay. Well, God. this turned out to be uh, a night. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tale of Brian. Uh, he will not be forgotten. That is a you know a long long drive home that he's got. You know he drove two and a half hours to get there and he's driving two and a half hours back it's just um it's crazy you know that's a lot of commitment and driving time to go and tell someone that you can't do something it almost makes you wonder and makes you think that brian may have been lying to my face the whole time but regardless the fate of brian is now within the hands of the law and all we can really do is sit back and hope for the best Hope that something gets done and that Brian gets justice. But on the other hand, I think it's fair to say that we scared Brian straight. Literally. I mean, if Michael Myers didn't do it, then I for sure did when I came out and talked to him. Brian swore that this was, you know, just a classic mistake and he would never do this again. I don't know if I can believe him, but we'll be keeping an eye out for him. That's for sure. We know that there are many, many other potential predators out there, just like Brian, and if they happen to fall into our investigation, they will be discovered, and they will get skeeted, just as Brian did on this night. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of To Skeet a Predator. I've been your host, Skeet Hansen. Thank you, and have a happy Halloween. Oh.